More than 100 million people in India now have diabetes. It has become so common that hardly anybody seems concerned anymore. But why? Why is diabetes common and a condition that puts you at a higher risk for many other health complications not scary enough? Hello and welcome, you're watching Happiest Health. In this episode of the Y Axis, we look at why India could be staring at an impending health crisis. Am I one of these hundred million people? I'm not. But I could be in a few years because there are already 136 million people in the country who are pre-diabetic. Which means in a few years, this number could add to this. The state of Goa has the highest prevalence and Uttar Pradesh has the lowest. Why is that? A lot of it has to do with the socio-economic development. Uh, so when you have these small populations, uh, the education level tends to be higher. People have jobs. We are sitting all the time or watching movie or watching something. Plus, you now we are eating all the junk foods and so on. High in calorie, high in sugar, high in carbs, high in fat and probably high in salt also. So what happens, not only diabetes goes up, obesity goes up, hypertension goes up, cholesterol goes up, everything goes up. In fact, it has been going up. 315 million people in the country have high blood pressure. 351 million people have abdominal obesity. 213 million people have high cholesterol levels. What is even more alarming is the rise in these numbers in rural India too, where one would assume there's enough physical activity. Despite having a low prevalence of diabetes, states like Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan have recorded higher rates of pre-diabetes, which could lead to a surge in diabetes numbers in the country, which already accounts for one-fifth of the world's diabetes numbers. It's not only that the rural areas are purely rural. We call them geographically rural as per census by rural. But as far as this lifestyle is there, it is becoming more and more urbanized also. We also need to focus on the consumption of ultra-processed foods which have made way into their life. There is a very, very rapid change in the eating style where we are talking about the different kinds of foods along with alcohol consumption and physical inactivity. Maybe I should cut down on sweets. I'll go for something less sweet. No? Sugar and its sweetness is mistaken by some to be the cause of diabetes. And many diabetics will therefore run from sugar into the arms of something that is very highly caloric but salty. If you think that by not eating a sweet meal but eating a lot of chips or salty snacks which are made from starch and thinking you're not you're protecting yourself from diabetes, you're wrong because inside, once eaten, your, your pancreas produces enzymes that break that chain of sugars back into sugar molecules. It's just that you didn't taste it going in, but it's there in your stomach. And at the end of it, it's doing as much damage as if you had taken that sugar as sugar. The problem could be in these extra snacks too. We all tend to have a snack mid-morning, mid-afternoon or mid-evening. Not just that, the ingredients in our regular meal have changed too. Because in our country, everything is carbs. 60 to 70 percent is carbs. Mm. Now, the type of carbs has also changed in the last few years. Earlier, when you took rice, it was hand-pounded rice. Mm. Okay, So, it's like a brown rice or unpolished rice. You went somewhere, just ground the thing, and then you hand-pounded it, and then you take it. Then came the rice mills, mm. which went on. Uh, you know, polishing, 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 polishing until you get whiter, 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 the rice. So it looks better. Uh, it also stays better in the stores. But from the health point of view, you're losing all the bran and the fiber and the uh, B complex and the phytonutrient. Everything is gone. So what our forefathers ate, the rice or the wheat, is very different from what we are eating now, the polished stuff, which is not uh, as healthy as earlier. Okay. Calories, we are eating the same, but their expenditure in, of uh, energy has gone down. So all of it, I think, adds together. There is a reason why diabetes is called a lifestyle disease. But does that mean there is no genetic factor involved at all? Is there a way diabetes can be passed on from parents to their children? 
type 1 diabetes that has got more of relation to the genetic predisposition, but type 2 diabetes has got definite link to our lifestyle. It has got definite link to our environmental factors, stress and strain, the way, you know, our, you know, eating patterns are all these, they make a difference. If mother is, you know, obese, she's overweight and she's consuming ultra processed foods and all that. And, but children are leading a healthy lifestyle. In that case, you know, and they're not consuming ultra processed foods or foods which are highly rich in calories and all that or fast foods, then, you know, it will not be, you know, kind of passed on to the children. Not too much sugar, not too many snacks. But there are so many options in the supermarket. How do I make sure that I don't add to this 101 million number? If you see things you don't understand, lots of chemical names, it's probably not a good idea. That's an ultra processed food. It means that there's all these preservatives and emulsifiers. It's not good for you in the long run. It's not dangerous, but it's not good. Here's another good rule. Food was always meant to rot. There's no doubt about it. It gives back to the earth by rotting. When you buy a lot of ultra packaged foods, they say long shelf life. I think the longer the shelf life, perhaps it's better out of you than in. So that's another thing I would suggest. Just buy fresh food. Remember, over time, uncontrolled blood sugar can affect all aspects of our bodily functions. I have been sitting for too long. It is time to go for a walk. Know which state stands where on diabetes prevalence by reading our detailed story on happiesthealth.com.